What's going on lads, it's your boy Cameron here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. So, today we are doing a Brooklyn Nets realistic rebuild. So, the Nets recently have uh, come to a mutual agreement with Kenny Atkinson it's for him to stop coaching the Brooklyn Nets and they'll bring in someone new. So what I've done, I've jumped into start today and I've simulated the rest of the season. We got eliminated in the Eastern Conference Finals because injuries are off like usual. Uh, so yeah, that's what happened. The Bucks won, no, the Lakers won the championship and LeBron won M Finals MVP. But here we are in the 2020 offseason. First thing we're going to do, go down lottery, even though I'm pretty sure we don't have a first round pick here. Do we have our first Nets? No, nope, it goes to Philadelphia. Uh, so staff signing, Kenny Atkinson has been fired, so we're going to fire Kenny. And uh, we're going to try, oh, should we try and get someone who's like actually could probably come and get a job here or nah? I don't know, because the potential candidates for it is like Ty Lu and all that uh, for this Nets job, but it, it, I don't know who would actually come here. And because uh, in 2K, we can't really do it all that realistic with the staff, uh, we'll just go to Jacob Underwood. We'll just get a new coach in Jacob Underwood. Uh, we do need a new trainer, and uh, Randy Martin seems to be our guy. And assistant GM, we need a new assistant GM because... Michael Williams is up for grabs. Thank you. We are all good there. NBA draft. So I do, we definitely we don't have our, our, our own first round pick, uh, but we do have the 20th via the Sixers. Okay, so I read that wrong. So we got the 20th pick via the 76ers, but we don't have our own pick. What was our own pick at? 16. Our own pick would have been at 16. It's not really worth trading up for. Are we able to trade up for like a... Are we able to trade up for like late, um, like number eight? Do I reckon we could probably go to get to number eight? I reckon if we could do that, I'll give you this second as well, and another second. If I just throw seconds at them, surely they will take this and um, give me a good draft pick here. No, okay. I'll probably have to give up another first to move up to eight. If I'm giving up another first, I'd rather move up to like five. So five is probably looking like our best bet. It's got three star value. I will give up a player in Taurine Prince with that as well. And I'll give you, I'll actually, if I'm getting first that, I'll go with this first here because we are probably going to be good and I will get rid of it. I'll give you a second. Come on, work. I don't think this is going to work out properly. Oh, there we go. We get the fifth pick. We also offload a contract in Taurine Prince, and we gave up our first round pick next year, which is probably going to, we're probably going to be good anyway. So, because we got Kyrie and KD. Uh, so, we do now have the fifth pick in the draft. Let's see what goes on here. Um, let's, uh, I'm just going to sim, sim to use a pick and see who's available. We got the fifth pick, and we are able. Well, what would we need? We need to probably, I, uh, we probably need a shooting guard. Unless we play Dinwiddie at the shooting guard, which is possible, but a power forward or a small forward. A small forward would probably be better because then we can play KD at the power forward. Uh, so if we could pick up a small forward like Brandon Clark, that would be really good. Uh, Mitchell Robinson, Will Barden, Derek Rose, that's got some value. Uh, OG Ananobi. So I like the Brandon Clark deal. We have to give up another first, and we also take on Tyus Jones, which I don't necessarily want to do. So let's just see who is available. Probably no one that we could probably use. James Wiseman? Nah. No one that we could really use is available. Like, we could go Scotty Lewis, but if we trade it, or but we did just trade up for the fifth pick, and then if we trade it for a player, it wouldn't be really worth it. So I am going to take a player that has a bit of value and then we could probably trade him away so if i picked up like a cole anthony that should be good for our team and then if we need to we could trade him away or use him as a backup point guard but rj Jaden mcdaniels lamello ball anthony edwards and cole anthony were the top five picks rookie signings we are going to be signing uh cole anthony garrett temple no and theo pinson no we are not three bringing those guys back um, I don't really care too much about bringing any the qualifying offers for those guys and I'm guessing we have a zero cap this season No, we're negative 46 mil because we spent it all last off season Dinwiddie we actually no, Karis Levert and Dinwiddie we've got so what we could possibly do is hear me out We could play wait how 
talk. Karis Levert can play the small forward. So what we could do is go Kyrie Dinwiddie. We don't have shooting guards. So we could play Dinwiddie at the three, at the two, because he is a 6'5". He's a tall player. He can shoot a bit. Um, so yeah, we could play Dinwiddie at the two, then have DeAndre Jordan at the five with Karis Levert at the three and play KD at the four. That's just what I'm thinking. And then have Jarrett Allen coming off the bench, Cole Anthony coming off the bench, Nick Claxton, Claxton coming off the bench, maybe Karuks, Musa. Are we able to move these two guys for like a backup power forward or cent? Oh no, 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 we don't need a center. Small forward or power forward, if possible. Uh, Robert Williams isn't bad. Bruno Fennett, Duncan Robinson, that boy is good. Would the Miami Heat do it though? Um, mm, maybe because. Musa is another big guy that could probably play that position. Um, and Claxton is a nice young backup center. So I think the Heat would maybe do this deal. I'm not sure. I'm going to do it now. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'm going to do it. And then I'm also going to be moving. I'm going to move, where is he, Duncan Robinson, to the three. Because he is 6'7 and should be playing the three. Um, so we got two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine so we've got centers we need a backup power forward and a backup shooting guard we need a backup shooting guard and power forward so power forwards here zach randolph marvin williams jay crowder that's pretty good yeah i'll bring jay crowder onto this team uh, i think that would be very handy uh, i'm not going to match any of those guys uh we will if we can bring back joe harris that would be good and then we can play um what's his face at the two again but if not then that's okay we're just going to make sure we get jay crowder and then we will try and get ourselves then we'll try and get ourselves joe harris back but i don't think he is here anymore so we cannot get joe harris back which is a bummer but we do need another, we do need a backup shooting guard now. And Alan Crabb, what I'm going to be doing then, because of this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sign a bunch of minimum guys for that position because we do have a nine-man rotation now. So because of that, we don't necessarily need a backup shooting guard because we, we can get shooting guard minutes from Cole Anthony, Karis Levert, um, and all and jump duncan robinson and even if we need to kyrie irving but yeah so we've signed those three uh minimum guys only because uh, i want to see what we can get for him if we can get another backup shooting guard for him then i'll probably do it but i'm not expecting anything to be coming out of it no not really anything coming out of it so i'll just take two first from sacramento sure uh so yeah i'll see you guys down at training camps three training camps here lads and we're gonna go down to untapped potential and give it to i'm gonna uh, uh, carousel that's already an a plus all right I'll give it to duncan robinson then i'm also going to be giving it to probably i'll give it to dinwiddie and also maybe probably Jarrett Allen. I'll see what goes on there. Uh, advance to next season here. I will sort out a rotation and a lineup. And uh, I'll see you guys when it's all sorted. This season, we're going to be playing Kyrie Irving, Spencer Dinwiddie, Karis LeVert, Kevin Durant, and DeAndre Jordan as our starting five. We then have Jarrett Allen, Duncan Robinson, Cole Anthony, and Jay Crowder coming off the bench. Scoring options, Durant, Kyrie, and Dinwiddie. Uh, we're going to go neutral, uh, average tempo. Actually, I'm going to go uh, shoot at will. Some crash, others get back. Neutral, neutral, and some crash, others get back. Proficiency, running a seven second, seconds. That's why I changed it to uh, shoot at will, uh, just so that I get up shots quicker and uh, create a higher tempo and run the floor a bit better. Power rankings, we are a projected five seed. 2K Sports have us at, geez, 21 and Eric have us at five. So let's see what goes on with this new look Brooklyn Nets team. And I'll see you guys with our record. Okay, so we go 48 and 34. LeBron James is the MVP. LaMelo Ball, Rookie of the Year. LaMelo Ball also was our, was the sixth man. Kawhi Leonard, Defensive. Pazingas, Most Improved. And Frank Vogel, Coach of the Year. So do we get any Brooklyn Nets on any of these teams? We do get Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant on all NBA third team. Do we get any defensive Heat, uh, not Heat, uh, Nets. No, we don't. And do we get any rookie Nets? We do get Cole Anthony, all rookie second team. We finish as a five seed in the East, taken on the Boston Celtics in the first round. Let's see how everyone did this season. Irving, 27.5, 4, and 6. 
23.35 and 4 for KD, 17, 2 and 7 for um, Dinwiddie, 12, 2 and 4 for Levert, 9, 8 and 0 for Allen, and 9, 3 and 3 for Cole Anthony, 7, 1 and 1 for Duncan Robinson, 6, 12 and 1 for DeAndre Jordan, 5, 3 and 1 for Jay Crowder. So that's our team stats there. Points. Uh, our points per game three, uh, we were third. Our defense was not the greatest. Okay, 15th, middle of the pack, and our differential was seventh in the league. Uh, Rotation-wise, I think I'm okay with keeping it for the for the playoffs. I might just bring it down and play the starters a little bit more. Actually, I'm going to play um, Cole Anthony a little bit more than Duncan Robinson. Jarrett Allen is a higher overall than DeAndre Jordan, so um, Jarrett Allen's going to be playing more minutes for the, in the playoffs. KD is going to be up playing a lot of minutes. Uh, probably about 30 for Levert, 30, uh, 32 for Dinwiddie, and 38 for Irving. I'm also going to boost up Dinwiddie just by one minute as well. Uh, let's simulate round here against the Boston Celtics, a round one matchup. That should be good fun. We are down 2-0, though. Uh, that's not a good start <laughs> at all. Could we? Okay, we do tie the series, but we uh, do, do, not, do not have home court still. And we lose in six games. That's just that's just fun. The Los Angeles Lakers are the champions, and Anthony Davis wins himself Finals MVP. So this season, I am probably not going to be changing much unless we get a very good draft pick, which we do not get. That we also get ten from Sacramento, which is going to be handy. And uh, do we get any other picks? We I think we have our own, don't we? Not. No, we don't. The Timberwolves have our pick because we traded it for last year's fifth pick that's right uh and then we got to pick up a new trainer for this season and that's all the stuff oh we also need a new assistant coach oh good thing i picked up on that because uh, otherwise we would not have a good assistant coach let's go down to the nba draft where we have the 10th pick and we could probably trade that away i guess i don't know i don't want to give up lavert so we could maybe go deandre jordan because he is on a bit of a decline I don't see them getting rid of it. Jay Crowder, maybe even. So, Jay Crowder and the 10th pick. If we could pick up a backup, a good power forward or a shooting guard, uh, that would be handy if possible. We move up to, we could move up to nine. Um, power forward or shooting guard and, ooh, uh, Joe Harris. No, uh, Carl, is that Kyle Anderson and the 14th pick? I'm good, mate. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to trade down for Kyle Anderson. The 8th pick, Boucher, 12th pick, McGee, and Ennis Cantor. So there's really no one here, so it looks like we're going into the draft, and we are going to be looking to see what prospects we could pick up to pair alongside Cole Anthony as the youth for this team. Uh, let's see who has the highest ranking. It's Sharif O'Neal. I don't necessarily want to pick him up, though. Like, we could go like a uh, BJ Boston. Uh, let's see what his ceiling is. A Leonard... Lendro Barbosa, sorry, <laughs> and Flores and Marco Bellinelli. Um, I'm going to be picking up this young fella in BJ Boston from Kentucky. We are going to be using him as our backup shooting guard, and then we could probably we can keep Jay Crowder because uh, he's not the worst. I'll also take on Jeffrey Wallace, who we, hopefully we could send down to the G League and become a good player for us. So. Uh, Cade Cunningham, Jalen Green, Jalen Johnson, Jeremiah uh, Robinson Earl, and Evan Mobley were the top five picks. Uh, BJ Boston and Jeffrey Wallace will sign up. Uh, Dinwoody has declined, which I mean, fair enough. Uh, he could, he's going to probably be getting a good paycheck this year. And Jarrett Allen, Duncan Robinson, and Dinwiddie are the guys we have to bring back in free agency. So that's our main goal. I'll see you guys when I have. So I got the three guys that we wanted back. We've got Dinwiddie, Allen, and Duncan Robinson all back from free agency, which is handy. And then if we go across here, our training camps, we are going to give it to Dinwiddie, I'm guessing. Yeah, we're going to give it to Spencer Dinwiddie. Uh, probably Jarrett Allen and possibly even Cole Anthony or our young guy, guys, excuse me, or BJ Boston, who's an A minus. Yeah, I give it to BJ Boston. So hopefully this all works out. I'll see you guys with our rotation for this second season. We are running for this season a Kyrie Irving, Spencer Dinwiddie, Karis LeVert, Kevin Durant, and Jarrett Allen starting five. We then have DeAndre Jordan, Cole Anthony, Duncan Robinson, and Jay Crowder coming off the bench. Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and Dinwiddie are our scoring options again. We've got a four-star system with seven seconds. Power rankings were projected six seed and six seed. So let's see what happens. I'll see you guys after this season. So we go 48 and 34 on the season. Giannis is the MVP. Bob Bob, Rookie of the Year. LaMelo Ball, Sixth Man. Anthony Davis, Defensive. RJ Hampton, Most Improved. And Brad Stevens, 
Coach of the Year. Do we get any Nets? We do get Kevin Durant, all NBA second team, and uh, we don't get any other Brooklyn Nets. Any defensive Nets? We do not get any defensive Nets, and I'm guessing we don't have any rookie Nets either. So we finish as a two seed, so that's pretty decent. That's pretty good. Um, let's check these stats for the season. Kevin Durant, 29.7, 6 and 4. Kyrie Irving, 23.1, 4 and 6. Dinwiddie, 16, 2 and 7. Levert, 12, 2 and 4. Anthony, uh, 11, 4, and 4. And then we have 11, 10, and 1 for Jarrett Allen. 6, 10, and 1 for DeAndre Jordan. 6, 1, and 1 for Duncan Robinson. 3, 2, and 0 oh for Jay Crowder. Team stats here. Points per game, we were 6th. Our defense was not as good as I had hoped. It's 8, 16th, so it went up a little bit from last season. And 8th. Uh, for the uh, points differential there. So rotation wise for the playoffs, sorry Jay, you're not gonna be getting as many minutes as you would like usually, but um, yeah, it's still a decent amount, still a decent amount, but uh, not as much as you're used to. <laughs> Let's just put it that way, not as much as you're used to. Um, and then we're gonna go like this and we should be okay with a rotation a bit like that. Hopefully we're all right with a simulate round here against the Chicago Bulls. We lose game one, so this is not going to be fun, hey? Hopefully, we can get past Chicago. If not, then we have them. Yeah, it's going to be a bit rough. We're down 3-1. I was about to say, if we lost in five, we lose in six games. Even better. Even better. This was our team here, lads. Hopefully, you guys have liked it. Durant, Irving, Dinwiddie, Allen, Jordan, Levert, Anthony, Duncan Robinson, Crowder, Boston, Karooks. So yeah, we had to get a pretty good team. I thought it was definitely worthy uh, of at least a Eastern Conference Finals appearance, but apparently not according to 2K. Uh, but 2K does what it wants, and uh, yeah, sometimes we just don't get lucky. But anyway, I'm going to leave the video here. Hopefully you guys all have enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to smash the like button down below and subscribe to the channel while you are down there. It would be absolutely amazing if you guys could do that. Hopefully you guys all have a good rest of the day. I'll catch you guys in the next video.